Birmingham Barons manager Julio Venus is an expert in the art of arguing with the umpire. You don't have passion for the game, then you shouldn't be in this game. You know, and I carry a lot of passion, and you know, I've had some good tosses, and uh, I can't say that I enjoy it because I wish they'd get every call right. In one game last season, Venus was so irritated he stood nose to nose with the ump. Choice words were spoken, and we all know how this will end every single time. But there's a lot of good things that come of it. I mean, one, the umpire knows that you're strongly disagreeing with uh, a call or many calls that he's made that night. And two, uh, a lot of times it gives a team a boost because they know you're backing them up. So what is it like to have an in the heat of the moment discussion with Venus? Let's see Julio come at me with this. I'm in full gear. I'm ready for you to bring out your, your toughest trash talk. Okay. You'll hear, you'll hear the pre PG version of this. Yeah. Kyle, you gotta be kidding me with that. Where did you have that pitch? Right down the middle. Right down the middle? What middle? There's no way that's right down the middle. I saw that catcher move to the side, and you're still gonna give him that pitch? You need to get your head out of your oh, butt and get the right call. That was right down the middle. You're There's no that way that's that. down the middle. That I'd rather you say I missed it than say that. You tell me you missed that, and I'll turn around and go back. You know what, Julio? Get out of here! No, I'm not getting out of here. You get out of here. That's what you gotta do. Throw me out. Yeah, I'm the boss. You need to throw yourself out. That's how bad you are. You need to change whatever it is that you think you're doing here because you ain't umpiring. I don't know why you bother cleaning this because you really don't need it. You don't need this to be this white. You should have it like this because you don't use this strike zone anyways. What's this plate here for? There you go. That's how your plate should be right there. So you can just make up your own strike zone because that's what you've done all night anyways. <laughs> I don't even know what to say when they're coming out. Man, do I, just, I don't know. Some umpires get gun shy too. They're like, huh? Right, well, hey, okay. well, let's hug it out. We're, we're still friends. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm Kyle Berger, and that's the Burger Bite. D. Ford was the center of attention at the NFL Combine last week when he declared himself better than South Carolina's Jadavian Clowney. Ford was a medical scratch from the drills, but got a chance to prove himself today at Auburn's Pro Day. The Odenville native put up some solid numbers, 29 reps on the bench press and an unofficial 40-yard dash time of 4.53. He led the team with 10 and a half sacks last season and is determined to show he can be a top-notch pass rusher in the NFL. He felt like he did that today. Failing is, has gotten me where I am today. I'm never, I'm never um, scared to try new things. That's what I want. Like I said, today I was taken out of my comfort zone, but that is great to me. Now I get to focus on perfecting my craft. I have more to perfect, you know what I mean? And these were things that I, just, I was foreign to. You know, I think I still did a great job, but I wanted to, I wanted to be perfect, you know what I mean? So, and uh, I, I really had a good time today, man. So. And coming up on Alabama tonight, we'll hear from Trey Mason, Jay Prosh, and even Greg Robinson on their potential NFL futures. In Auburn, Kyle Berger, Alabama's 13 Sports. Camp's camp. It's uh, we're right in the middle of it. We're pushing through. You know, you uh, you see them hit a wall every day, and uh, our guys are just pushing right on through that, building the tolerance to it, and uh, getting out here like today in the heat and in full pass. Pretty tough, but I mean they're uh, developing a tough nose, uh, hard nose mentality, mentally and physically. Good Transition's been good. Just uh, the whole off seasons went pretty smooth, and we just got to continue, you know, to get better. It's just it's another phase. You know, you're in in the fall camp, kind of preseason phase here, and you know, going in a big opener against Michigan State and, and Chattanooga in that second game. So uh, just trying to get ready for those and build the the base of our football team uh, in, in all phases during this camp. So we got four guys we feel like can get the job done and they just work hard every day and make each other better and uh, it's kind of a team concept and uh, they just do a really good nice job.
Yeah, that's right, Don. It is a championship rematch, but you wouldn't know it from the current Southern League standings. Today's opening round, Kyle. Hi, Don. We're live in the tee box, the 14th hole, one of the nicest views of any Alabama golf course that you will find. Well, today.